What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to an episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving a bunch of different spots and a bunch of different days. None of these days we had a good luck on numbers of fish, but we did shoot some pretty quality fish. This day here, we are diving a wreck in about 65 feet of water, and this was probably the best spot of the day. On my first dive down, I saw a ray, and I was looking for some cobia, but that never happened. As you see here, a nice mangrove comes through that cloud of bait, spooks him up a little bit with that gag. Gives me a really easy shot, I decided to take it. I'm swimming up as fast as I can, well not as fast as I can, but I didn't want to spend too much time down there because I did see a shark, and when you got a little bit lower biz like that, and a pretty good fish, you want to get them off the bottom pretty quickly. So as you see, I'm headed back down here. There's that shark right there that I mentioned earlier. He's pretty calm, but I just didn't want to get him too riled up by giving him a free meal. So this is a dive where I free up Jesse's snapper. He shot a pretty good mangrove snapper. Shaft got stuck. The fish was free though. So I twisted the shaft a little bit. The flopper closed and it came right out. I spent a little bit more time down here. I was just holding that fish, looking around for more snapper, anything like that. But I wasn't seeing anything too crazy, and that fish was getting a little out of control. So I just decided to get my hand on the fish, swimming up to the surface, and took care of Jesse's nice mango snapper there. So after that, Colin stoned this beautiful cobia, about 45 pounds, and it, um, swam basically right up to him he was just on the surface came up broadside got a really good shot and just pulled him right up to him couldn't ask for a better dive there and then as you see there's that ray that i was talking about earlier in the video so now i'm headed down to the bottom we've already shot a couple nice snapper and a good cobia i'm headed down to the bottom and i spot a pretty big hogfish here he's swims up gives me an easy shot and I just didn't think about it enough I just quickly pulled the trigger and shot right in front of him it's pretty easy to make a mistake like that but as you see here <laughs> I go to reload my gun that hogfish wasn't the smartest at all he swam right up to me and as I'm pushing the shaft back it hits the trigger mech and it won't go in somehow it's still locked I've never had that happen and it was the last time it's ever happened but it made me look around and I realized the hogfish had already swam off so I wasn't the happiest about that one should have took my time and actually shot the hogfish but you can't do anything about it once it's already happened so now I'm headed back down to the bottom the fish on this spot are already pretty spooked, so we weren't seeing anything too crazy. There was some decent mangroves still around, but they were pretty smart. So I'm kind of just sitting here looking for that hogfish, and if I spotted a pretty good mangrove, I'd take a shot on it. So I'm doing a little bit of grunting and stuff, and I'm not seeing any big mangroves or anything. Just laying down here and looking around but nothing too good going on. We're about to leave this spot, and as soon as I go to leave, as you see here in a second, I look down, and there's that hogfish swimming right up to me. Gives me a really easy shot. I decided to take it, of course, and typically I'd like to go down and get that fish, but I already been down there for a while. He did come up right with me, and I didn't have any issues with that shark, and this was the last dive, but secured a really good hogfish not a way to not a bad way to end the day there so this is a new day here we're going down this is me and Ben diving a ledge in about 50 feet of water pretty good hogfish there swims up to me he's not a giant but I definitely would take him I mean makes a really good sandwich there so looking around not seeing anything else Ben told me there were some decent mangroves but I wasn't seeing anything so decided to take the shot on this hogfish really easy shot get a nice stone shot on him pull him up to me and head to the surface So 
So after that, I head to the bottom, got that fish to the boat, and I'm looking around for some of those mangroves. I'm not seeing anything too crazy, but as you see, I got plenty of time on the bottom here. We're kind of just looking around, hoping to find some some decent mangroves, maybe a couple more hogfish, anything like that. But I'm seeing like 16, 17 inch mangroves, nothing too big. And then finally one piques my interest here in a little bit. Nothing too big, but definitely good eating fish. So still looking around, looking around. Not seeing anything crazy, but see one off in the distance. It finally catches my eye. He didn't want to come in, so I decided to take a far shot. Barely nicked him. He turned a little bit when I shot and just didn't get a good shot on him at all. He swam off. So I head up to the surface and I head right back down just a little bit farther off the edge of this ledge here. Looking around, looking around, and there's nothing really going on in this specific spot right here. So I decided to move down the ledge. And as I'm moving, spotted a pretty nice mangrove that I decided to take the shot on. It was a pretty, pretty quick decision. He was going to just leave, but I decided to take a shot. He looked pretty big, so got a good shot in him. He swam off, took a little bit of reel on him, so it was pretty good, and came up to the surface and pulled him up to me. It wasn't the best shot, but definitely a holding shot, so can't complain. This here is a different dive on a different day, about 85 feet. Shot out a pretty good mangrove snapper probably about 28 inches ripped off pretty unfortunate but if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like hit that comment section drop some some nice comments down there and we'll catch you in the next one thank you for watching